What a joy again to come your way with the awakening world. We we'll thank God for the diverse testimonies and the fact that God has been true to us. We want to thank him. As I bless your week today, I trust that the God will strengthen men by basic life principles will strengthen you. As you do your fight, you'll be sure of winning because beyond the fighting will be the everlasting arms of God. I'd like to bless your week from Exodus chapter 17, verse 9. The Bible says, And Moses said unto Joshua, Choose us out men, and go out, fight with Amalek, tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. This is the secret of effective warfare and winning life battles. Few thought. Thought number one is the word choose. Not everyone is qualified to fight life battles. Some are still babies. Some are not strong enough. Some are weak. So he said there must be a selection process. And I'm praying that you will be worthy to be chosen to represent and stand for the deliverance of your father's house, to also fight for many lives all around you, that God can consider you choosable. So he said choose. Because any man who make a choice must have criteria for the choice so that we don't present weak hands to our enemies and then we get defeated. This week you will not be defeated if you brace up and get ready to fight. Number two lesson is don't just choose a young boy. Choose men. Men will be emotionally stable. Men will be mature at heart. Men will select their battles. They will not fight around and think they should dismiss. They pay too much attention to it and become destructive. So men who can select the most effective strategy to win life battles. Number three lesson there is the word go out. Let's stop fighting on one spot by endless complaint. Go out. Dear the camp of the enemy. Fight the enemy because a guarantee is made. So when you go out to fight, fight for your family, fight for your health, fight for your finances, fight whatever is attacking your life, attacking your Christian life, fight against it. When you go out to fight, Moses shared a secret. Why you are fighting physically, I am praying spiritually so that when we combine spiritual intervention with physical energy of involvement, then the results are inevitable. I believe you will win so much this very week in all life battle because you have been chosen to fight for your father's house, to fight for your life, to fight for your wife, to fight for your children, to fight for your husband, to fight for the body of Christ, to fight for your Christian faith because the end is imminent. You've been chosen. So go as men. Don't go as weaklings. Don't go as complainers. Don't go with any form of destruction. Go as men. And as we lift up our hands, I guarantee you by the grace of God, I'm praying for you this week as you go to fight the prayer force with your engagement in the camp of the enemy will guarantee an unending victory. I pray and I see great victory on your path this week as you engage the enemy, as you fight, as you go and dear cancer, he will die out of your body as you speak in the name of the Lord. Why they fought? Prayer became the air force. And I'd like you to combine the two and you'll get great result. I'd like to invite you very specially for the 29th, the 30th, and 31st and 4th of September. We shall be having 
Let the Fire Fall Prayer Conference. The theme is demanifestations. Because the beauty of Christianity is in the display of God's power to unseat the enemies. So get ready for this. You will join online and you can also attend the live session if you live in the southwestern part of this country or any part of this country, you can come in and be part of this great live session on the theme, the manifestation. It will be a great joy to have you be part of this prayer conference. God bless you. Amen. Thank you.